Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So an interesting study, this time out of the Medical University of South Carolina, has shown some promising results with regard to vitamin D supplementation and the slowing or reversing of certain prostate cancers. So without further ado, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this study report has to offer. At the 249th national meeting of the American Chemical Society, it was announced that supplementing with vitamin D supplements may slow or even reverse the progression of less aggressive or low grade prostate tumors without the need for surgery or radiation. Let's now look at the Gleason grading system. If a tumor is present in a prostate biopsy, the pathologist will grade its aggressiveness on a scale known as the Gleason grading system. Tumors attracting a score of seven or above are considered aggressive and are prone to spreading. They will require either surgical removal of the prostate gland or radiation therapy. However, tumors with a score of six or less are classed as less aggressive and in some cases may show no symptoms or cause no health problems for the duration of the man's life. Let's now look at a process called active surveillance. Bruce Hollis, PhD, who is at the Medical University of South Carolina, explained that in cases of low grade prostate cancer, so cancer with a Gleason score of six or below, Many urologists do not treat this disease, but instead initiate what they call active surveillance. The cure, which means surgery or radiation, is probably worse than the disease. So urologists will wait a year and then conduct another biopsy to see where the patient stands. Let's now discuss patients who opt for elective surgery. A man knowing that he has even low grade prostate cancer can cause him and his family excessive anxiety. This may prompt him to undergo elective surgery. Despite the risk of complications such as infection, urinary incontinence and erectile dysfunction. But a man must wait at least 60 days from the time of his biopsy before he can undergo this elective surgery. This is so that any inflammation caused during the biopsy has the chance to wane away. Let's look at vitamin D supplementation. So Bruce Hollis wondered if giving these men vitamin D supplements during the 60 day waiting period would affect their prostate cancer. Previous research has shown that when men with low grade prostate cancer took vitamin D supplements for a year, 55% of them showed a decrease in their Gleason scores. And in some cases, the tumors disappeared completely. So what of this new clinical trial? So in a randomized controlled clinical trial, Bruce Hollis's team was assigned 37 men who were due to undergo elective surgery. There were two groups, one that received 4,000 international units of vitamin D a day and a placebo group that didn't receive any vitamin D whatsoever. After 60 days, the men's prostate glands were removed and examined. So what were the results of the clinical trial? Well, Hollis stated, the new research suggests the vitamin D supplementation may improve low-grade prostate cancers by reducing inflammation and perhaps lessening the need for eventual surgery or radiation treatment. He went on to say, we don't know yet whether vitamin D treats or prevents prostate cancer. At the minimum, what it may do is keep low-grade prostate cancers from going ballistic. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, we don't know what the patient's vitamin D levels were before they started the protocol, and it was only 4,000 international units a day, and it was only for a 60-day period, but it seems to have had quite a marked effect. Uh, my question, or I'm wondering, would taking vitamin D as a precautionary measure in the same way that some people take aspirin for heart-related diseases, 
Um, would this possibly be a way of lowering your score on the Gleason scale uh, if you don't decide to um, opt for elective surgery? I'd be interested to see what your comments are uh, on this particularly um, important subject, especially for men. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, as always, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.